Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. I think it would be great to have some kind of RV that you could just drive anywhere. Like, you don't even need a hotel or anything. You just stop wherever you want. I think that's cool. You scope the I area doubt one. Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Sorry, Chloe, I was talking and stuff. Oh, you're Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Pompidou? <laughs> for Aww. real? That's a poodle's name. It's cute. Uh, it's cute that he I cares about animals. I think he likes his bone more. All right, let's open. Zip, nada, nothing. I'm not entirely sure what they're expecting to find, but I guess that's the whole thing about snooping. You don't know what you're going to find. Crappy wife out here. It must take him days to download porn. Yuck. A police radar. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Yeah, road trip. That would be great. Alright, what else is in here? A scary knife. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. But he lives in here, so he does need a knife. Of course Frank gets the munchies. He likes chocolate, is Frank it? must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. How can somebody live like this? Mm, he does need to clean up. That's What's a pretty that extreme lighter. What pills? Prescription pills. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or what, both? What are they? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Natural McKady, Bruce, Johnny. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. It is. Like, you can't be all bad if you care about animals. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Then, let's pry it open with the right tool. But first... No more secrets. And then I saw it said, photo. Photo. Oh, it is a photo. It's not that we can take a photo. Right, of course. Is Frank going to deal online now? We know nothing about this, Frank, really. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Alright, let's go get something. I don't really want to use a knife. Um, I'll take it, though. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Oh, it can. you can use a screwdriver, right? Yeah. Kind of thing, to unscrew. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Oh. I thought there was something wrong with the dog. I panicked that I'd throw in the phone into a bad place. All right. My blade will open any portal. Please be careful. Like, why would someone hide something in a vent? What is it? Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. Mm. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompidou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life, and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. I thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always, heart. Rachel Lambert. What is even up with that? And why would she leave? Like, surely Chloe is one of the best things in her life. And why would she want to leave with Frank instead of Chloe? Like, what? I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. 
Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about us, you, us. So maybe we need to break our routine. And that was it. Like, wow, they really had some form of... 2013. I opened this, right? Ooh, Frank's stash. I cannot believe you would wear a collar and a furry mask. Can I open... where's the other vent? Can I open this vent too? Or is that like just it? You choose one. Mm. Chloe? It's not really the place, but... Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a step-fucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe! No, please no! Oh, okay. I thought that the dog was gonna get hit by a car. Please go put your dog in your RV again. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Nobody's fault. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? William? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. I can tell. I don't want to be like I can tell, but I don't want to say you're still here. Because I don't think that's what she wants I to hear. I can tell. But look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Don't go, Max. Max.
Oh my God, what is happening now? Did she go all the way back? If she could change that day, Focus with A and D keys, then with left mouse button and right mouse button. Um, this is so like. If I could go there, would I change it? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crips. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Bread. How? We. So I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So how many I loved Don't William like he was in my own family. Right. Like I won't let him you. die today. I know. We and can't. Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time unless I change it. Like, wow. But I mean, we're messing with history. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. But I mean, just if you make me save young. Chloe's dad from death, you have to. Wouldn't like you wouldn't not. It's just we just changed history by taking that, didn't we? No, I'll get it. You're not gonna give her a lift, M William. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. Chloe. What? You can see the bond between Chloe and her father. And no, the love. wait, stop. Now this is a photo. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen no, of the sea mott. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? I don't That's know. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? <laughs> keys, please. I need to find them first, I guess. Oh, yeah. I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Just, you're gonna find uh -huh. them. I want him to answer the phone. I wanna... Wait. Am I, like, not supposed to take that photo? But it's so... I need to unplug the telephone. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom Boom. said it depends. Disconnected. That's true. So how many eggs? Don't you dare what question if... the chef. Just... Right. Wait, I don't know. I know I missed the phone call. I kinda I wanna know Mom what she said. said. It depends. That's now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. They're so happy. That's true. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Listen, don't let your dad take his car today. I know it sounds weird, but please believe me. Something terrible is going to happen. You have to stop him from driving anywhere. Whatever, weirdo. What kind of thing is that to say about my dad? I'm not joking. Then you stop him, Supermax. William? Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction. 
So you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise, if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... So you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. I'm gonna hear what he says on the phone. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. <laughs> but not after today. It's gonna change her whole life. She won't even know me. We won't even... But it's... I mean, if she can have her dad... She should have her dad. I know they never took that big vacation. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two ways. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Sage Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your You're college under here. fund? Why can't I get Jesus. them? Why can't I get them? They're under here. I know they're under the hat. I know for a fact. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. All right. So I seriously, I can't. Do I have to go all the way back? Score. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep them. You will just find them. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. I'm just gonna keep them on me. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Because then they'll find them tomorrow. When they have cereal, and it won't be like... Like I, I, I deprived them of their car forever. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? Just rewind. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Just rewind. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Why can't Max, I rewind? You'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. William? Shh. I thought I wasn't going to get a chance to rewind. I need to unplug the telephone. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit. I was so scared that I just lost the chance. Unplug the telephone. N no other calls will come through, right? That are important. I just... am when your mom is away. Boom. Disconnected. I have the keys now, though. What's a catch-all? Well, it doesn't really matter if I hide the keys or not, right? Yes. Here's the two wells number. Now I can warn Joyce. Oh. Oh. Warn Joyce what? Darn it, but I've unplugged the phone. Wait. Mom is away. Is that it? I'll let her know that. 
Was that a cell phone? Oh, I can answer the phone? Uh, hello. <laughs> Hi, could I please talk to Joyce Price? Oh, she left? Damn. Oh, she went to get groceries. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. I'll get it. Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Hey, honey. <sighs> Just All right, that's it, then I'm unplugging the phone. I've tried everything else. I'm, I've got to unplug the phone. That's basically all I can do. I wanted to see all the options, we've seen them. <laughs> That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare Boom. question. Chef. Disconnected. Okay. Like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look. E I'll let her know that. Change stuff by taking that photo. I don't know how to stop it. Joyce loves William so much. Good luck, Hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of, of two worlds waffles in your own house. Your loving wifey. I can't stop it. I don't know what else to do to stop it. Hey, honey. I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I think that could I'm just it. making a fabulous... I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. What if something bad still happens? We've changed history for nothing. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. What did I just change? Burning all this stuff never happened. We just, I don't know, but someone is alive that. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she's laughing so much. I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? People in Oregon Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Shut Courtney, up. you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? I'm actually jealous. <laughs> oh no, this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. She's got 
it'll be better with her dad than without her dad, and if that means I've lost her as a friend, it's just something we're gonna have to, to accept. <laughs> Max's life is gonna suck, but Chloe's won't. Is that a whale? No, what is that? It's a... There's more than one whale. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Um, like I know, um, Chloe, she was unhappy, <laughs> but she was so full of life and she had happy moments. And I don't know, I'm kind of torn between, you know, at least she has her dad. And how now she can't really live the life that she would ever really truly want to live. I don't know. I didn't know how it could be so bad. Like a new stuff would obviously change. But I, I didn't know what. And And I didn't think it would... I didn't even think that it could hurt Chloe. I just thought everything would be better for Chloe and everything else would change for other people. I feel bad for David. Honestly, if I got the chance to go back again, I don't know. Like, I want to speak to Chloe, but I mean, surely to have her dad alive is worth it. It's so hard. Um, I don't want that. I don't want Chloe to be like that. Though, like, I want her to be able to live a life that she wants to live. I don't want her to be stuck in a wheelchair and I know people live lives, happy lives like that but I mean Chloe was so crazy and she just wanted to get out 
she wanted to get out and have adventures and stuff and now she's practically trapped in her own body and um, we did that but she has her dad so it's it's quite a um, it'll be really interesting to see what happens in the next episode which is out so we can um, I don't really know how to feel <laughs> I don't know how to feel about what's what we just did I, I hope that it just happens whatever you do I need to see all the decision the choices that happen okay we left the money um, you didn't kiss Chloe oh my gosh okay wait so 54% left the money only 21% didn't kiss Chloe okay yeah we sided with Chloe that was that was just that was that was definite we kept Frank's dog from harm as did 93% of people great I mean the dog did nothing and Frank really loves the dog and that's so cute and Chloe has David's gun 70% Frank has David's gun with 30% okay okay um wow wow much I take it that would have happened anyway, that Chloe would have ended up like that. And like, I think that you had to save the dad. I don't think there was a way you could fail. Um, okay, we've done these. Can I... <gasps> what?! Oh. I just pressed the right mouse button. Oh. Oh wow, the end of the world party is still taking place. Wow. Okay. Um wow, right? We can Episode 4 Dark Room is out. We will be playing it. So, leave a like if you're in, if you enjoy the whole series of Life is Strange. If you enjoyed episode 3, I don't feel like we made many decisions like wow this is <laughs> like I don't feel like we made many life altering decisions um, however life altering stuff took place but I just think it was inevitable uh, like there was there wasn't like a big conflicting like oh should I do this or that like stuff just happened and it is big stuff that next episode in episode four dark room my gosh it's I, I i just i need to talk to chloe i really really just i need to talk to chloe she <laughs> she's my friend and i need to know that she's okay i just i need to talk to her i need to talk to her um so we'll do that so uh subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you don't want to miss anything on the channel in episode four because i need that right now and yeah, I will see you in the next video of whatever you happen to be watching. So thank you very much for watching. Oh. Oh, check this out. Um, Lisa is alive. I know I clicked next, but we've got this. Okay, Lisa is alive. Our plant is alive, people. I, I didn't water it one time and I thought it would die, but it's alive. Um, we didn't help Warren with his exam, as didn't 73% of people. We are on the Vortex Club party list. That's going to hopefully help life. But everything's so different now. You didn't change the Vortex Club party list. Yeah. You didn't erase the cop's message. 43% of people didn't erase the message. I think that's okay. Considering we've changed the whole history of life, does any of this stuff really apply anyway? 70% helped Alyssa. 38% warned the homeless woman. 52% took a photo in the past, which I know is going to affect something. I just, I don't know how it's going to be. And we didn't leave a mark on the fireplace because I didn't see it. That would have been nice to do. Wow.